MCTV is on the air. Oh, hello fellow students of MCHS. I'm Jonathan Yerchuk, and I'm here to talk to the seniors. As many of you know, it takes a lot of work to put together the senior video, and our media crew can only do so much. So, they need the help of you, students, supplying photos and videos. Yes, lots of videos and lots of pictures. So, Please send in your videos and pictures to mctv at mcsdk12.org. And another message from Macy and the MCTV squad. Please, please, film your videos horizontally. Standing by live in our Mifflin County Television Studios, here's your MCTV anchor team. Good morning, MC. Today is Friday, October 26th, and day four of the six-day cycle. Please join us in rides for the national anthem and the pledge to our flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any student who is interested in joining Ski Club, paperwork is now available in the main office. Please do not procrastinate as we have a shorter window for sign ups this year. Attention seniors, this year's senior dinner dance will take place on Saturday, November 17th from 6 to 10 p.m. You have five days left to sign up. Cost of the dance is $15 per person. Sign up with Mr. Hopple in room A214 or Mrs. Hassan in room A112. No sign-ups will be taken after Wednesday, October 31st. Don't forget that the canned food drive is underway. Currently, Mrs. Williams' first period class is in the lead. Mrs. Baker's is the second and Mr. Kyle is in third. Your books are still available at a base cost of $55 and personalization is free. However, icons are now $350 each. If you have an order form that is outdated, you can get the updated form in the main office, Ms. Klein's room A207, or Mrs. Ryden's room A322. Have you ever wondered what Mr. Carter would look like with the beard? How about Mr. Bub? Well, now is your chance to see. Vote for the teacher you want to keep up with No Shave November and benefit the United Way. Voting takes place in the cafeteria. Donate now. KidGuard is a company that is passionate about the healthy development of children and families. The KidGuard Education Scholarship is available and part of their effort to bring awareness and inspire solutions on issues such as cyberbullying, online predators, teen suicide, and childhood depression in the age of technology. All high school students in grades 9 to 12 are eligible to apply for a $500 to $1,000 reward. The deadline to apply is October 31st, and the application is located under the community link in KidGuard.com. Please stop by the guidance office for additional information. The yearbook is looking for pictures from the homecoming dance. If you have any that you are willing to share, please see Ms. Klein, Klein in A207 or email her through your school account. Attention Spanish Club members. Our next meeting will be on Wednesday, October 31st at 7.40 a.m. in Senior Betz's room A301. Please be sure to attend as we will be finalizing details and voting on designs for our club t-shirt. If you have not yet completed a permission slip for our laser tag night, Please be sure to pick one up, fill it out, and return it to senior vets and one of the, and, or one of the club officers. Nos vemos pronto. Attention any girls interested in playing powder puff football. There will be a mandatory meeting on Monday, October 29th at 3.15 in room B114. See you there. Attention all art club members. Art club t-shirt orders are being taken now through October 31st. Order firms are available in the art room. There will be two t-shirt options. Don't forget this is the only time we'll be ordering them. Attention students who participated in the yearbook fundraiser. 
There are about 25 of you who have not yet picked up your fundraiser items, which, by the way, came over a week ago. Your customers have been waiting for their merchandise. With permission from your teacher, please pick up your items in room A322 ASAP. Attention upward bound. Our next coffee catch-up meeting will be on Monday, November 5th at 3.40. See you at Briscoe's for a treat and conversation. Seth's up next with sports, but here's this week's edition of the Friday Feature. Good morning, MC. For today's Friday Feature, we're in the choir room with concert choir and guitar. So far this year, I am very excited to start the year. I'm very excited to have such a wonderful group of students singing. I think it's great that so many people are willing to share their talent. Concert Choir is open to any students in grades 9 through 12. Anybody can sign up if it fits their schedule. Cantare is a select audition group that you have to be in concert choir and able to audition for it. For choir and cantare, my main goals for the Christmas concert to accomplish was to do a traditional Christmas concert. What I like the most about choir is it's much like a family, like the marching band, and I get to do something I love, which is really cool. You know, it's just, it's kind of nice to be, like in sports, you're a part of a team, and in choir, it's kind of the same thing. We're progressing really well as a choir and guitar. I, I think it's definitely a different situation since Mrs. Morgan retired, but I think it's going really well. The choir and guitar have grown a lot from the past two years. Because now not only do we have the veterans to help lead the new people into it, but we have a brand new generation coming in. I do have a lot of freshmen this year in concert choir, but they are not new to me as I had them in seventh grade. I honestly, I don't remember how old I was, but I remember I watched High School Musical and <laughs> I loved the idea of singing. So I just kind of started singing after that, and I enjoyed it. For MCTV, I'm Joseph Peachy. Looking at MC Sports, don't forget, tonight is a blackout. Support your Husky football players at their senior night and, and at Mitchell Field as we wrap up the regular season. The senior night ceremony begins at 6.15, so, there's early, so get there early and bring your rain gear. And good luck to our boys and girls cross country teams tomorrow at the District 6 Championship Meet, which is being held in at the Indian Valley Elementary Center. The first race begin tomorrow begins at 10 a.m. That's all for sports. Macy, what's for lunch? In the Husky line, hot ham and cheese, Rocky Mountain salad, sweet potato fries, cookie and milk. And in the griller, hamburger or breaded chicken sandwich or fish sandwich. We have three final announcements. Period 7 Study Hall will need to move to the auditorium today. Reminder to all art club students who painted pumpkins, they must be taken home today. And please help Courtney Royer win the Artisans Artists of the Week. Here is the website to look at Courtney's artwork. You can vote as often as you want at the Artisonian website. Voting ends on Saturday. That's all for today. She's Macy. And he's Lincoln. Have a great day. Have a husky day.